Hey, 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 guess who it is? It's your friendly Puerto Rican coach, Manny, with Catman Marketing. Do you wonder how to use social media effectively for your business? You're going to want to tune in because I want to share with you actual results of using social media not only to grow your business, but to grow you and your brand. You're really going to want to stick around for this because I'm going to get juicy into this because I'm going to open up and I'm going to share. So don't go anywhere. Again, I'm Coach Manny Rodriguez with Catman Marketing. Do you wonder how to use social media for your business? You see, I personally believe almost every single industry And I say almost because I don't know all the requirements. The only industry that pops in my head that may not be suitable for social media is uh, life insurance agents. That's the only industry I can think of that social media may not be allowed by regulations. I don't know the whole ifs, ands, or buts stuff about it, but that may, does that sound like you? If that's an accurate statement, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. If you think you're in an industry that you should not be using social media because of all these regulations, comment below. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a financial advisor, do not comment below that you're not able to use social media. I, I get that comment from social from financial advisors and I don't be, I don't agree with that. I don't believe that. You see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I was a financial advisor, how would I use social media? Well, number one, I would brand myself as Manny Rodriguez and I would offer tips that anyone can find anywhere. The the key is is they're not going to go and find those tips. You see, if you are always offering value in a sense that what is financial financial uh, strategies on how to manage your money, financial um, advice on what is going on in the market today, that that has nothing to do with telling people to come buy your product, come get your come get the service from you. So, in my opinion, yes, financial advisors advisors should definitely be using social media for their business. But how do you use social media for your business? It blows my mind. I network a lot. I network a lot because I like to meet other professionals. I like to meet with like-minded individuals. I like to surround myself with people who are looking to do big things in their life. Okay? Now, there are some people that are totally content. Sure, they want more money in their life, but they're not willing to do what it takes to get more money. Maybe they're just happy with where they're at. Great. Most likely, this video is not for you if you're not ready to take your business to another level. But you should be using social media if you're looking to get even sales. If you work for a company and you are looking to get sales as a salesperson in that company, you should be using social media. You see, what is social media? What is social media? Social media is basically using the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, all these different social media platforms you need internet access to get to, right? So what's the difference between internet marketing and social media marketing? Not really much to be completely honest with you. Social media means you're focusing on social platforms. Internet marketing can actually mean the same thing. You're still using social media to, on the internet to market your business. You see? It's the same thing. But here's the key about social media marketing. It doesn't matter what industry you are in. Focus, about, focus on the other person. As humans, what are humans what are humans going to tune in for? What's in it for me? You see, on YouTube, YouTube is very powerful. YouTube also is a search engine 
Facebook is not a search engine. You see, there's a difference there. YouTube is a search engine. It's the second most used search engine behind its parent, Google, because Google owns YouTube, right? So, if you're not on social media, why are you not on social media? Social media gives you room to expand your network. I love networking, but it will not allow the same reach as social media will. You see, it will not allow the same interaction on a regular basis as social media does. You see? Social media is a powerful platform that I personally don't see going anywhere anytime soon. So you really should consider getting on social media. Okay, hold on a second. Let me rewind. You really should consider marketing your business on social media, but don't be a marketer. Be a value-driven person. Be a person that, hey, Let's give an example of financial advisors. If they're in the market and they're trying to get clients, don't don't talk about, hey, we got the best rates. We got you, you can't do that. That's definitely against regulations, most likely. Or we can offer you the best uh, financial plan. You can't offer. You can't say that either. What can you do as a financial advisor? You can update people on the market. You can update people on new changes. Just because it might be on MSNBC News. If that's still around, I'm not too sure. I don't really have, I don't, I don't focus too much on a whole bunch of different news channels. But even as a financial advisor, you can offer ways for people to learn, to learn about things they need to be doing in their life. Stay within the guidelines. You can still build an email list, which you should, and you should be contacting your email list on a regular basis. I'll tell you one, uh, a certain financial advisor from, Edward Jones. I get emails from them every single week. Basically just market updates. You could do something like that, right? But I wouldn't recommend that t- that route because that I don't find that to be really value driven. When you share stories about situations a person was in and you were able to help them get out of that situation by developing a plan, that's a strategy. When you're sharing stories about another situation that you know that this person was faced with and there's a good chance other people are faced with that same challenge, that's a story. That's a value-driven email, right? What about fa- what about YouTube marketing? What about videos? You should definitely be on videos. You know why? Because that's the number one conversion tool to the know, like, and trust factor that you'll get from your end user, from your audience. What are the three activities I'm always focused on? If you've been following my videos for a little while, you probably already know what this is. It's called the BES formula. Build your audience, engage your audience, sell your audience. But you cannot do the selling until you focused on building the relationship with people. You see, do not be the spaminator that just wants to spam your business out there and get people to you. It doesn't matter what industry you are in. Again, the only one I might that might not be able to use social media that I can think of off the top of my head are life insurance agents. You see, I have a home builder client, I have real estate client, interior designer, mortgage loan officer, more and more and more. My point being, there's no reason you should not be on social media. If you're not sure how to use social media for your business, make sure that you subscribe below, okay? Be sure to subscribe right there. You should see that red subscribe button right below. Be sure to subscribe because I'm always going to be offering updated material on social media marketing. I'm a social media marketing coach and I own my own social media marketing agency. So at the end of the day, I just went off of value. I just went off of value. I'm Coach Manny Rodriguez with Catman Marketing. I'm about to go on my exercise. What are you doing? Are you getting your exercise in? Is it all hustle and no play? Well, you gotta play with some fitness. Fitness is key for longevity, feeling great. You don't, you don't want to be uh, 
always in hustle and bustle mode and not get your fitness in. I don't care what your excuse is. Unless you want to die with a, a young age, you better take care of yourself. Unless you want to have a lot of medical bills later on in life, you better get, you better start being conscious of this. Fitness is key. I'm Coach Manny. I hope you got some value in this. If you did get some value, please share it. There's a good chance someone else will get some value. At the end of the day, I'm here to help. If you're not sure how to use social media, be sure to contact your Puerto Rican friend, Coach Manny. I'm here to help. Have a great day. Peace.